virgin, most powerful radio, sharing the gospel with clarity and charity. I'm a soldier for Christ. I'm a soldier for Christ. I'm a soldier. No, they'll never take us under because we're bringing truth like thunder. Raining on your speakers like a ton of bricks Hold the cross high cause we'll cap those licks Fight the good fight with the truth Stand tall with the truth I'm a warrior for Christ I'm in love with the truth Love God, save souls, slay error Go stronger Welcome to the Terry and Jesse show It's Friday, it's a special edition of the show I'm going to be talking about martyrdom. What? Yep, the first segment. And then after that, we're going to have Deacon Steve Greco from Spirit Field Hearts Ministry. They're actually picking up time on our network, and other ministries can do this. It helps us ex- with expenses for our ministry. Uh, he's going. He's getting on once a week to fire people up about the Catholic faith, and so I'm going to be interviewing him the remaining time of the show after the first segment. But... Every single segment we talk about, we talk about God's Word from the Gospel of today's Mass reading. And so that's what we do right off, go to the top of the food chain, the, 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 um, the God's Word. And today's reading is Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 to 32. We've been reading all week the Sermon on the Mount. Okay, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out, throw it away. It's better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off, throw it away. It's better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go to Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must Give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is invalid, unlawful, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Best basic guys, custody of the eyes. This meet reading it says, you know what, we live in a very central world. We need to keep our focus on Christ, and when immoral things, images come up, whether it's pornography, replace those with holy images. That's what I mean by the old term, custody of the eyes. I want to get to the martyrdom, but before I do that, I'd like to bring in Fulton J. Sheen uh, on that locomotive. Full Sheen ahead. This really fits our show again on destiny. He says, modern man is uncertain of his destiny. Oh, you got that right, Bishop Sheen. He's always afraid of being thrown back into his nothingness from which he came. The result is dread. Much of the modern culture is directed to the suppression of that dread. We use a lot of sleeping tablets, opiates. I mean, look at the problem with um, drug addiction, constant search for pleasures. All these attempts to suppress this awful, gawning dread of nothingness. See, here's the point. We're looking in all the wrong places, and Bishop Sheen nailed it. That's our culture right now. We're looking. You know what we're doing? We're trying to, the the sale right now on our world is, we can live without God. No, that's a lie. We cannot live without God, and that's what this world is trying to convince us that we can. Before I get into the martyrdom, I just want to pray for all the folks who died today. I mean, I know there's 17 people who have died in the protests and riots so far. So let's pray Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. All the tens of thousands of babies that died today, people who died from cancer, people who died from the COVID-19, uh, which are about a, seven or 800 people a day. So we, we pray for everyone. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon them. Why do I bring up the martyrdom? Let me just mention something. This happened just recently. A pro-life woman was handcuffed outside a Planned Parenthood uh, facility for social distancing violations. While the Black Lives Matter protests, nobody gets nailed for that. It's just an inconsistency and it's a persecution on us Christians. Also, this is coming right from New York. Black Lives Matter leader New York reveals an interview with the Daily Mail that the activist group is developing 
a highly trained military arm to lead the war on police. I, that doesn't surprise me. Read on their website what they believe in. That's why all lives matter. I'm all, when people say to me, you got to be with black lives. I, no, no, I'm with everything. That there's 40% of the unborn babies are black babies. Why aren't they upset about that? They're very inconsistent. I want to have a consistent life ethic of innocent life. All lives matter. Okay, here it comes. Pope Francis said this. One could ask, what does the church need today? Martyrs, witnesses, namely everyday saints, because the church is led forward by its saints. Now, just a few years ago, maybe eight, ten years ago, we keep hearing about the word martyrs. But sadly, large amount of these uh, martyrs were in the world were suicide bombers from Islam. And this word has once again become commonplace. And what is worse, the ideology of Islamic suicide bombers have colored the concept, which is a false and frightening meaning. By contrast, okay, the Christian notion of martyrdom points to an altogether different way of thinking. That's why I want to bring this up. The men and women, even children, whom we honor as martyrs did, did, did not seek death. The first four days of June, they were all martyrs. On the contrary, they loved life to the very end. But they also demonstrated an inner freedom that true faith in Christ gives. They were filled with the certainty that love of God is stronger than death. That's the kind of love we have to have right now, everybody. This, we're not afraid of hatred, evil, or secular powers that sought to stop them from worshiping God. A lot of secular powers are trying to stop us from worshiping to God. But they accepted death in the firm belief that in surrendering their life for the truth, right, they were serving the salvation of the world. Do we believe that? I hope so. The church was and will always be a church of martyrs, even in the 21st century. In our own time, we need witnesses of brave and heroic souls willing to stand up against hatred and revenge. Boy, do we need that. But where does the heroic courage of martyrs come from? You know, they conquer themselves every day by denying themselves every day, by accepting the many little daily trials that come our way. With every little sacrifice, with each little act of self-mastery, every decision for Christ, the courage and strength to love God grows within us. See, we have to deny ourselves and pick up our cross, taking us above and beyond our own personal interests. In this way, we can share in the cross of Jesus. Now, the highest sacrifice of love and learned to love as he loved us. This love, which is willing to shed its blood in martyrdom, renews and revitalizes the church. One moving example of this heroic love was shown by a Pakistani ministry for minorities affairs. His name is Shara Bhutta who was murdered on March 2nd, 2011. Put your seatbelt on when you hear his story. For his commitment to helping persecuted Christians in his country. Are there any persecuted Christians in our country? Let's not stop. Let's let's help them. He wrote the following of his spiritual testimony, which seemed to foreshow, foreshadow his own death. Right before he died, he wrote this, folks. He said, now check this out. I have been asked to put to end to my battle. What's the battle? Standing up for Jesus. But I always refused. I'm going to continue to swing the bat for Jesus, he says, even at the risk of my own life. We have to do that. My response has always been the same. I do not want popularity. I do not want positions of power. I only want a place at the feet of Jesus. Amen, brother. He says, I want my life, my character, my actions to speak of me and say that I am a follower of Jesus Christ. This desire is so strong in me that I consider myself privileged whenever in my combative effort to help the needy, the poor, the persecuted Christians of Pakistan. Jesus should wish to accept this sacrifice of my life. I would be pleased. See, this is a man who's heroic and in virtue. That's a saintly man who did that. I'm not trying to say, oh, we got we, everybody's called to, everybody's called to be a saint. We're all called to do our duties in our state and life well. And if God calls us to martyrdom because we're standing up for Jesus, 
all eternity we will spend with him. It's a great honor. Now, I don't need, I'm not seeking martyrdom, but I just want all listeners to know here at the Virgin Most Powerful Radio Network, we know times are coming and they're getting tough. The persecution of the church is here and we need to stand up for Jesus. And I always like to quote some of the popes. I Pope, Pope Felix III, he always said this, and this is for us. Not to oppose error is to approve it. Not to defend truth is to suppress it. And indeed, to neglect to confound evil men when we can do it is no less a sin than to encourage them. We're talking about sins of omission where we don't speak up. I want to remind you, tomorrow I've got the men's conference. I'll be the last speaker there. Jesse Romero, Tim, and uh, Ruben will be there. We're going to have a grand day. You can join us by going to Virgin Most Powerful Radio. And also the following week, Steve Ray will do a virtual Holy Land conference on the video, on the computer. That's on the 20th. Both conferences are on the Internet, our app, YouTube. Just go to virginmostpowerfulradio.org to sign up. When we come back, I have a pre-recorded interview, yes, with Deacon Steve Greco. He's from Spirit-Filled Hearts Ministry. I think you're going to like it. His show comes on every Friday after my show here with Jesse. He'll come on once a, a week on Fridays. And he's an on-fire deacon who loves the Lord and is not afraid to evangelize. This man is uh, on fire for the Lord. And that's why I think it's good that he's coming to Virgin Most Powerful because he's, he was on a different station and he got removed. Well, now he's with us. And when you come back from the break, y'all introduce you to Deacon Steve Greco. His show will be following the Terry and Jesse show on Fridays. Again, I want to thank all those who have been supporting us. If anybody wants to give us a little donation for this conference we're doing, we're doing matching funds. So if you give us 100 that makes 200 Call me at 661-972-7872, and I'll thank you myself. Up next, my interview with Deacon Steve Greco. Genesis 1.27 says, God created man in his own image. Male and female he created them. According to Pope St. John XXIII, it is not true that some human beings are by nature superior and others inferior. All human beings are equal in their natural dignity. May God help us to look upon everyone as a person created in his image and likeness and treat everyone the same without favoritism or prejudice. Help the Helpless, a Minnesota St. Paul nonprofit organization chaired by Father of Tear and volunteers, is humbly asking you for your kind support to help the poor and the handicapped children in India and Ecuador. Through financial support from the help of the helpless benefactors, the children are provided with clothing, food, education, shelter, and the teachings of the Catholic Church. The mission is to help children thrive and become self-sufficient young adults leading productive lives. We also provide aid to poor families in Ecuador with food baskets, medicines, medical assistance, and help with funeral needs for the deceased. The work in India is done by Father Antonio's organization, St. Mary's. In Ecuador, the work is being done by the Servant Sisters of the Home of Mother. You can call us at 877 762-8857. To learn more, please visit our website, www.helpthehelpless.org. God bless you. This is Terry Barber. I want to thank you for your support here at Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Here's an easy way to do it. If you're going to sell or buy a house, call Real Estate for Life, 877 543-3871 because they're going to get you a Christ-centered agent to purchase your home or to sell your home. And at the close of escrow, a portion of his commission goes right back to Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Call 877-543-3871. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show. To join the conversation, call 888 526-2151. Now, 
Here's Terry and Jesse. Thank you very much. Jesse's out of town right now, but I have Deacon Steve Greco. He's starting a new show here on Virgin Most Powerful Radio. His ministry is called Spirit-Filled Hearts Ministry. Deacon Steve, welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show, and welcome to the Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Well, am I excited. Praise the Lord. I am... I love Jesus Christ. I can tell. I am so on fire like you are, Terry, yep. and, and like Jesse and, yep. and the, everyone on this network. It is such a blessing that I'm part of this network. So thank you so much. Well, we're excited to have you on board. Your show's going to start uh, in June on a Friday. Uh, what, what's exciting about it is that it will follow the Terry and Jesse show every Friday on Virgin Most Powerful Radio. But, Dick and Steve, I've known you for years when we were on radio with Virg- with uh, Immaculate Heart Radio and others. And uh, I've always known that we're like two peas in a pod because evangelization is your middle name. But for the benefit of the folks who don't know anything about you, can you tell us briefly how you fell in love with Jesus Christ? Amen. And that's really what it's all about, as you know, Terry. It's being all in. <laughs> you got and that right. like most cradle Catholics, I was a cradle Catholic. I was a cultural Catholic. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd go to church. But really, as I like to say, it was in the head and not really in the heart. Yeah. You know, the greatest journey was 18 inches. Yeah. And it, I was 28 years old. I was working in Bakersfield, California as a pharmaceutical manager. And and the the representative showed up with a Holy Spirit pin on. And I said, what's going on? You know, I mean, he was Catholic. I sure. said, you know, how come you're wearing the pin? And he said, I have given my life to Jesus Christ. Praise God. And the more he talked to me, the more I realized that I hadn't. And so I came home to Irvine, California. I looked in the mirror and I said, Lord, I give you my entire life. Because that's what it's all about. You know, we, we know from Revelation uh, chapter 3, the church of Laodicea, where God says, I wish you were either cold or hot, but because you're neither hot or cold, I spit you out of my mouth. Bottom line is this. I was lukewarm. If you followed me around, you wouldn't have been able to, to really convict me of being a Catholic or mm. certainly on fire. Mm-hmm. And so once I gave my heart to Jesus, everything changed. And that's exactly what's going to happen. When you give your heart to Jesus, you're never going to be the same again. I walked into the living room and I saw this big, thick book with pictures and a little dust on it. (laughs) And it was the Bible. It hadn't been opened up. And all of a sudden, the word stop started leaping off the page at me. Awesome. And it said that God so loved me, Stephen, that that he gave me his only begotten son, Jesus, so that I may have eternal life. And and I I turned to the eighth chapter of Romans. It says there's no mm-hmm. condemnation in those who love Christ Jesus. And I I've been condemning myself my entire life. And then it said nothing will separate me from the love of God, neither height nor death or angels or principalities. Nothing will separate me. And then I turned to Ephesians one, and it said before the dawn of time I was chosen to be holy. I was chosen to be spotless. I was chosen to receive the Holy Spirit. I was chosen to be His adopted son. And I said. <laughs> what? Where has that been hiding? Yeah, I hear you. And so from that moment on, my life changed. And uh, my whole life has been devoted in different ways of serving the Lord. I was a pharmaceutical executive, but I was preaching the entire time awesome. I was doing that. But after I retired about four some years ago, uh, right before then, I formed Spirit Filled Hearts Ministry, which is about evangelization and healing. Because Jesus wants us to know the truth. Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And only through Jesus can we have the truth. And so I'm on fire. I can't wait to be on the network. Yeah. Uh, It's such a blessing to be associated with you. And the first time I met you, I thought we were brothers from a different mother. I don't, I don't know. It was uh, oh, yeah. amazing. High Energy Catholic Radio, that's the only ones you hear on, on Virgin Most Powerful. You fit right in, Deacon Steve. And, you know, Fulton Sheen said something similar to what you just said in his Through the Year with Fulton Sheen. He says about eternity, he says, God says to us, if you give me your time, I will give you my eternity. And so what you have done is you've given your life over to Christ and his church. You're a permanent deacon. I know that, but not many people know how did that happen in your life now that you're a permanent deacon. What made, you know, what were the circumstances for God working in your life to have you become a permanent deacon in the Catholic Church? I got fired 
<laughs> what do you mean he got fired? You know, God had God had such a beautiful plan. I got to hear this. Um, you know, and Father Jim Nesbitt's one of my, my friends. Uh-huh. He said that our life is like a tapestry. <laughs> if you look behind the the tapestry, you'll see all these 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 uh, strings and oh, whatever. Yeah. But then you you look at the actual tapestry and it's perfect. And he said, we'll never change anything that happened to us. I was senior vice president. I was doing incredibly well as uh, Bristol Myers Squibb. Wow. I had responsibility for cardiovascular and metabolic, 4,000 people, $7 billion in sales. And uh, the, the CEO and vice chairman loved me, but they both retired. Mm. They both retired in March. The new guy comes on, and he says, I don't like you. I, <laughs> I want somebody else. So within 30 days, wow. I'm giving my walking papers. But I knew that I knew that I knew that Jesus did not want me in New Jersey, but in California. I come back to California, and I had been in the in the parish before, and the pastor walks up to me two months later and says, would you consider being a deacon? Wow. Now, I'll be candid with you. That wasn't really something I was thinking about. But my wife, yeah. because spouses know, sure. and spouses are, are used right. by the Lord with That's a word right. of knowledge. That's right. She knew all along that I was going to be a deacon, but she didn't tell me that. So I started out, I wasn't really sure, but then the more I went to the classes, the more I fell in love with what deacons do, yeah. which is basically serve the people. Amen. And that's what I'm all about. That's what you're about Absolutely. is service. Absolutely. And Deacon Steve, now you have, you've been doing radio for years. Tell us a little bit about your background in Catholic radio. Well, it's interesting because... I give talks uh, all over the Western U.S. primarily, Mm -hmm. some all over the country and in Asia and so forth. Mm -hmm. And in giving a talk, um, all of a sudden someone came up to me and said, would you be interested in in being part of ESNI, El Simbador? Oh, yeah. And and so uh, I said, well, sure, I'll give it a try. And so back then we had to kind of be the producer and, and have our own studio out of our house and so forth. And I was in this very small Moreno Valley station. Uh, you know, I, I think it had uh, kind of the coverage of about two blocks or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but nevertheless, I, I was doing it and getting experience. Sure. And then the Diocese of Orange found out about it. And uh, they said, well, we have this opening uh, for Immaculate Heart Radio out Ooh. of San Diego. And so I started in San Diego with one station, Great. and then I was added to the L.A. one, awesome. and then they made me network-wide. Wow. And so I did that for uh, a number of years, and then Relevant Radio came on, mm-hmm. and, and I still remain network-wide. Uh, but, you know, bottom line is this. Virgin Most Powerful Radio is where it's at because yeah. <laughs> it is number one in my heart right now well, because y- you don't compromise the no, truth. No, we don't. We don't. And, and de- I have to tell you that— you're on fire for Jesus Christ, and evangelization is at the heart of everything we do. And Deacon Steve, I know I'm not politically correct in saying this, but I know when I've worked for a lot of different Catholic networks, sometimes the management is uneasy when you bring, let's say, a hardcore priest like I had today, Father Frank Pavone, who's priest for life. You can make some people uncomfortable and say, no, we can't have that. Well, Deacon Steve, I want to make it real clear at Virgin Most Powerful Radio we don't have those policies. Our policy is, if it's what the Catholic Church teaches, then that's what we preach. Nothing more, nothing less. And so I think you're going to find a nice home here because I know that uh, your show that you're going to be doing, I, I, I want you to tell us a little bit what you do. What, who are you going what you, to What's your show? I'm going to ask this right now, Deacon Steve. What is the show you're bringing to Virgin Most Powerful? What is it called? It's and, called Empowered by the Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit, you know, we've got Pentecost. Yeah, coming up. The Holy Spirit takes over our lives, and we need to be empowered. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll give you a little story. Uh, Good. I I give, uh, again, talks at uh, SCRC Convention, Southern California Renewal Convention, Mm -hmm. Anaheim Convention Center. And on Saturdays, usually, uh, I've prayed with my wife over the children age 5 to 15. Good. And so I did a couple years ago. On Sunday, this little girl and her mother come running up to me. She's about seven years of age. She comes running up to me in the arena. I was walking to give a talk. And she said, "Uh, Deacon, 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 you prayed over me yesterday. And the mother said, yeah, she could barely sleep. And she looked at me, and her big eyes just went wide. And she said, Deacon, did I receive the Holy Spirit at baptism? And I said, yes. And then she said, (laughs) 
at age seven. I love this. She looked at me and she yeah. said, well, Deacon, if I receive the Holy Spirit at baptism, why is he hiding? <laughs> is the Holy Spirit hiding in your life? Well, our show yeah. is about releasing the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that you received at baptism, the Holy Spirit where you're sealed by the Spirit on confirmation. But unless you let the Holy Spirit be released within your life, then you're, you're just not going to have uh, the power. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus was very clear in Acts 1.8. <clears throat> he said, when the Holy Spirit, not if, but when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power, which is translated as dynamite or didymus, <clears throat> and then you'll be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. When you receive the Holy Spirit, everything changes. Yeah. We get so excited, we can't stop talking about right. Jesus. We can't stop praying. We can't stop <clears throat> thinking about Jesus. So what this show is about is getting people who are on fire, getting priests and deacons and, and, uh, and, and, and actually bishops Good. Um, uh, who are totally on fire right with on. the Lord to motivate us on how to pray differently, how to let the Holy Spirit be released so we evangelize, how, for example, things like um, divine mercy, which is a big part of, of what we are devotional mm -hmm. aspect, how the Blessed Mother works in our lives. Yes. You know, we, we're very devoted to the Blessed Mother, Good. Lady of Guadalupe. And so Virgin Most Powerful Radio fits right in. certainly <laughs> fits perfectly yeah. Yeah. because we believe the Blessed Mother is behind, you know, our ministry, Spiritful Hearts, and, of course, Everyone within the church who, is, who are working so hard to build up the body of Christ. Well, so when we come back from the break, I want to also talk about your latest book, uh, Be Not Afraid. And I want people to go to your website, Spirit Filled Hearts Ministry. Is it .org or .com? .org. .org. And look at all the other books. I have another book here called Miracles Through Forgiveness. And that's just a couple. <laughs> Deacon Steve's been putting out books like, like Scott Hahn. I mean, they keep coming. And uh, I want you to also talk a little bit about your new show that you're going to be coming up with on Virgin Most Powerful. What's the format? What's the focus of the of the show? And I would like you to talk also about how people can support your show because people need to support you directly through Spirit Filled Hearts Ministry because you have a whole ministry, not only radio ministry, you're feeding the poor. I've heard lots of good things about what your ministry is all about. But what's so beautiful about it is I w I'm just I'm glad to have you on board because our people who are listening need to know about all the good things that are going on in the Catholic Church because they're there, but you have to see it. You're listening to the Terry and Jesse show. I have Deacon Steve Greco, who's ordained a permanent deacon in the Diocese of Orange back in 2007, started his own radio ministry, and he's putting he's going on board with Virgin Most Powerful next month. And I'm just glad that he's here in studio on the Terry and Jesse Show. We'll be back with more with Deacon Steve Greco. Hi, this is Jesse Romero from the Terry and Jesse Show, also from Jesus 911. Let's face it, we all need to use the Internet but we need screen accountability. Why? Pornography is a huge problem, especially on the Internet. And every time we tap into the Internet, we get bombarded with images and temptations that degrade our humanity. So we need Covenant Eyes to block these pornographic sites and advertisements from infiltrating our lives. Covenant Eyes helps us take custody of our eyes and custody of our intellect. So I recommend you go to CovenantEyes.com and type in the promo code BMPR to support the network. Protect yourself and your family from the eminent threats on the Internet. www.CovenantEyes.com Code VMPR Live Porn Free. Thank you for listening to Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Thank you. God bless you. Keep the faith. This is Terry Barber. I want to thank you for supporting Virgin Most Powerful Radio. And here's an easy way to support us by going to smile.amazon.com and type in Catholic Resource Center or Virgin Most Powerful Radio. And when you log in your Amazon account and you purchase products, 
a portion of it will go right back in supporting Virgin Most Powerful Radio. And it doesn't cost you a dime. I want to thank you ahead of time because that supports us year-round. May God bless you and your family. This is Terry Barber. I want to thank you for your support here at Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Here's an easy way to do it. If you're going to sell or buy a house, call Real Estate for Life, 877-543-3871. Because they're going to get you a Christ-centered agent to purchase your home or to sell your home. And at the close of escrow, a portion of his commission goes right back to Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Call 877-543-3871. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show. To join the conversation, call 888-526-2151. Now, here's Terry and Jesse. Welcome back. Actually, Jesse's out today, but I have my good friend Deacon Steve Greco, who's with a new organization for us here at Virgin Most Powerful called SpiritFilledHeartsMinistry.org. And I was just mentioning before the break about a new book he just put out called Be Not Afraid. Deacon Steve, COVID-19 is going. I've never seen so many frightened people in my entire life. People are scared. They say, even when this ends, I'm not going to take my mask off. I'm not. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> and so here's my question. Did you write this book before COVID-19 hit? Is it just God's way of, you know, the timing is right? Because I looked at your book and I see overcoming adversity, you know, f- uh, faith, not fear, all the things that would be really beneficial for our time right now. So my question is, why did you write the book? This was so Mm God-inspired, 100%. Early March. Yeah, early March. It's starting to happen, and the Lord in prayer said, I want you to write a book, Be Not Afraid, Mm -hmm. about faith and not fear in the midst of COVID-19. And so, you know, it's a fairly uh, short book in a sense. It's 116 pages, but it is power-packed. With strict with scripture and powered packed with instructions on how to have faith in the midst of these trials, how to overcome adversity, how to make sure that you don't let the enemy in with fear. Mm -hmm. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. How to pray (laughs) with power and how to turn to the blessed mother, which is so important. I'll give you an idea of the impact of this book in a very short period of time. Again, this has only been a couple of months. It just basically just came out within the last week or so. We already have a parish in Costa Mesa uh-huh. that's getting 2,000 copies. Awesome. Of the a Norbertine parish. Of course. You know, yeah. Of course. And so we have other parishes interested. So what, we, what this book is about is that we are getting donors, and you can be one of those donors. Absolutely. By going to spiritfulhearts.org, go under the donation button. Let us know that this is what you want to donate. Uh, the list price is $15, but we're doing it for $5 per book. I love it. And so, for example, 2,000 families would be $10,000. And so everyone will have it. And, and lives are going to be changed because in this book, it really talks about reconciliation, which is near and dear to both mm-hmm. our hearts, Amen. E- examination of conscience, evangelization and sharing the truth and how you are called to be holy. So in the midst, what the devil has, what the devil wants to do is create havoc and fear and trepidation and and just to have us paralyzed. But what the Holy Spirit wants us to do is to use this opportunity, this pandemic, to be to create holiness within our hearts and in our minds and our souls so that we become even closer to Christ. We become better and greater evangelists. We turn our lives over to him because I don't know about you, but you know, in the midst of all the, the news broadcasts and whatever, you know, you have to look at things and go, why am I here? Exactly. I am here for Jesus Christ. Amen. I am here to make a difference and every second counts. So this, this book uh, it, the forward is by Reverend uh, Augustine Pugner, Great who is the pastor of St. John the Baptist in Costa Mesa. And, you know, it is an amazing, amazing book. And we're asking everybody to support it, certainly to pray for it. But if we can get your parishes to get on board and we can help 
pay for the books and so forth by getting donors and so forth uh, so that that each family doesn't necessarily have to pay anything. Uh, this is so important, and, and, and it's 100% from the Lord. There's no doubt in my mind. The Lord said, write this book. You know, I'm not looking to make money on this book. I'm looking for it to be a value, a blessing, a sense of encouragement to those out there that are struggling with, you know, being, uh, you know, shut-ins and, and, and home quarantined, and, and perhaps they're worried about their jobs and, and the future and the stock market going down, everything else. Be not afraid. And people afraid. can get that book, Deacon Steve, right from your website, spiritfilledheartsministry.org. Not only that book, I'm going to be honest with the folks. I'll show another one, Miracles Through Forgiveness. Are you kidding me? How important is forgiveness? Absolutely important. And Deacon Steve, what is this? Maybe your seventh book now? Seventh book, Expecting Experience Miracles, <laughs> Overcoming Adversity Through Miracles, yeah. 365 Days of Praise. Yeah. You know, many, many books. You can go to spiritfilledhearts.org. Good. Go to that ministry, uh, you know, the, our website, and you can right there uh, in our store, you can go ahead and order them, and we will Good. ship them out to you. Awesome. But we're looking to, and we have online conferencing and all kinds of things that we're doing. Good. To support people. We thank you for being uh, part of that conference that we just had on the sure. Blessed Mother. Absolutely. And so, you know, we're doing everything we can, but be not afraid, have courage, be bold, because God will reward it. He rewards zeal. He Amen. rewards confidence and he rewards perseverance. That's why Hebrews ten thirty five and 36 are so important to me. It says you need confidence to do the will of God and you need perseverance to receive what God has in store for you. Awesome. Now, Deacon Steve, you're starting your show with a guest that I know very well, and he's been a great supporter of Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Can we, are we allowed to tease people about your first show? Can Our we? first show is Bishop David <laughs> O'Connell. I love that. And, and that bishop is so on fire, as you know. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a neighbor of yours, right? That's right. Well, he's, he's been in the studio many times he's here. He's been in the studio many times, and he is such an inspiration. And so the show is about COVID-19 as it relates to the church's response to what's happening right now. The show is one in which you'll be inspired yes. by and, and, and grow in your faith and not have fear, fear about what's going to happen. And, and Bishop David is just, he's so on fire, so anointed, so holy. And so that's our first show. That's our kickoff show. And, and each of the shows are yeah. going to be incredible. We'll have uh, one of your favorite priests, uh, Father Frank Provone. Oh, yeah, he's great. We'll be on uh, for Priest for Life. Absolutely. You know, we're going to have... Uh, uh, many, many great priests and, and, and many on fire uh, evangelists. So That's great. Well, I want to just say Bishop O'Connell is this bishop who took Jesus Christ and the Blessed Sacrament up on top of a hill here, not far from our studio, if everybody remembers, and blessed 15 and a half million souls in Orange County, L.A., San Bernardino. You could see them all from that mountaintop. And he was doing that to end the COVID-19 pandemic. And so I, I think it's really providential, in my opinion, that you're going to have him on on your first show. Now, Deacon Steve, talking about this show, I know people hear all kinds of good, solid shows on Virgin Most Powerful. We don't let anybody on if, unless it's something that's going to get them to be introduced to the person of Christ and his church. So we're honored to have you, you know, being part of Virgin Most Powerful. What else can the people expect to get from listening to your show? Well, one of the most important things is, is <laughs> I believe, as you do, mm -hmm. Jesus is the word made flesh. right? Amen, brother. And, and so this Bible is a living Bible. And I believe it's so important that people learn Scripture. So we spend a lot of time quoting scriptures, teaching Good. about scripture, Good. teaching about the power of scripture. You know, the bottom line is this, my brothers and sisters, the more you let the word of God imbibe, you know, drink up, sure. absorbed within your heart, within your soul, the greater, I believe, the power of the Holy Spirit within you will be released. Yeah. And also the greater that you'll have the defense against the enemy. Mm -hmm. You know, remember what happened in the fourth chapter of Matthew. First of all, Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit, the first verse, into the desert to do battle against the evil one. 
And what happened? Well, Satan was quoting scripture, but Jesus quoted the right scriptures, but he had obviously that because he was the word and so so forth. So he knew it all. But the bottom line is this. When we realize things like greater is he that's in us than he is in the world, there's no condemnation in those who love Christ Jesus, and on and on and on, when we really understand how much God loves us by understanding Scripture, uh, everything changes. And I think it was uh, St. Jerome that says, ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Right in the Catechism, they quote that. That's a big quote. Yeah. And, and so, you know, there just aren't that many people preaching by using Scripture, and that our show's a, is really the, it's the foundation of our show. And Dick and Steve, when we come back from the break, I want to ask you about your love for the Blessed Virgin Mary. Oh, amen. amen. <laughs> I know I have to twist your arm. No, I oh. don't. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Folks, I want to remind you, Steve Ray, Saturday, June 20th, is going to have a virtual pilgrimage to the Holy Land. You don't have to get on a plane. He's going to take you to Turkey, Israel, Palestine, uh, Jordan, all these countries via through the Internet, right, through our app. And YouTube. So that'll be June 20th. If you want to join him, go to virginmostpowerfulradio.org. And don't forget, the week before that, the men's conference. Normally we have it here at the Sacred Heart Chapel in Covina. Jesse Romero, Ruben Nava, and Tim Gordon will be here. Actually, they're not going to be here. They're going to be on the screen watching on YouTube and on our app again. So if you you don't have to be a man to come to the uh, men's conference, everybody's welcomed. Go to virginmostpowerfulradio.org. And I also want to remind you that we've been having confessions. Call in to check on Saturdays here at the Sacred Heart Chapel. While the churches are still closed, we've been doing it every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Several priests come, and you can go to confession. And we've had such fruit from that, people who have been away for 15, 20 years coming to confession. So I just want to thank people. The, our address is 126 South 5th Street in Covina, California. If you want to Google us, always check to make sure, because once the churches are open, then we want you to go to your local parish to go to confession. But right now, I know for me, I'm going tomorrow, and I want to see you go also, because I know what the healing and merciful face of Christ looks like in the confessional. And I would love to have you come and tell your friends about that. Also, I just want to remind you, for all the people who have been supporting us on our our, our mission for the, t- the bell tower, we have it up, and Bishop O'Connell is going to be coming to bless the bell, and I'll let everybody know when that date comes, because I want you to come and join us. We'll have a special mass and blessing of the bell tower. You're listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. I have Stephen, he can Steve Greco here in person on my Studio A. And he's going to be starting a new radio show on Virgin Most Powerful. His ministry is called spiritfilledheartsministry.org. I encourage you, go go to his website and pick up some of his books. They're life-changing. We'll be right back. Jesus said in Luke 17, When you have done all that you were ordered to do, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have only done our duty. According to St. John of the Cross, God is pleased with the little deeds we do in secret. He takes more pleasure in these than in a multitude of grand works that we may do out of the desire to be seen by others. May God help us to do the things that please Him and not just to appear great in the eyes of others. How does the baby eat? Can the baby hear me? How did the baby get in there? Wow, a pregnancy can sure generate a lot of questions. But what's important is that a baby is a baby, inside and out of the womb. Not just after birth, but nine months before. 
at conception. That's right, every baby is a miracle. Hello, my name is Marianne Kuharski. I'm the director of Pro-Life Across America. If you know someone who is pregnant or in need of alternatives or assistance or would like to support the work of Pro-Life Across America, please visit our website at prolifeacrossamerica.org or better yet, simply dial pound 250 on your cell phone and say the key word pro-life. Pro-Life Across America is non-political and totally educational. A baby's heart is beating 18 days from conception. Pro-Life Across America, the Billboard people. This is Terry Barber. I want to thank you for your support here at Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Here's an easy way to do it. If you're going to sell or buy a house, call Real Estate for Life, 877-543-3871, because they're going to get you a Christ-centered agent to purchase your home or to sell your home. And at the close of escrow, a portion of his commission goes right back to Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Call 877-543-3871. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show. To join the conversation, call 888-526-2151. Now, here's Terry and Jesse. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show. I like to say I'm too blessed to be stressed. I'm too anointed to be disappointed. And if hope was money, I'd be a billionaire. And my brother, Deacon Steve Greco, I'm sure would concur with that. Amen. Brother, I have to ask, I have to tell the people, your premiere show will air June 5th, right after the Terry and Jesse show at 12 noon. So I want people to mark their calendars on that. Also, Deacon Steve, you have a great love for the Blessed Virgin Mary, and I want you to tell our listeners how that came about. Well, it, it's it's amazing. My grandmother prayed the rosary all the time. <laughs> to be candid with you, I didn't grow up with a devotion to Blessed Mother. Mm. It wasn't until I was, yeah, I think pretty much in my 30s wow. where I went to mass, uh, excuse me, I went to a church one day yeah. during the day yeah. because I had three teenagers mm-hmm. and I said red, they said black, I said green, they said purple. <laughs> You know, and I was beside myself and there was no one else in the church. And I went there and I said, Lord, I I just don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. And my whole life changed by the answer. The Lord came to me and Mm -hmm. said, turn to my mother. Amen. And the Lord said, turn to the rosary and pray a decade for each member of your family, three children, your wife. And so uh, that has changed my entire life. So I, I pray three or more rosaries a day wow. uh, for the last many, many years. But the Blessed Mother has come to me uh, at Rudabach, which is oh, yeah. the Church of Been the Brachus Metal, yep. uh, where I, I actually got a locution Great. Uh, telling me that I was getting the gift of poverty, which is a long story. But <laughs> basically, that basically meant that everything was to be... Uh, given to Jesus Christ and, mm-hmm. and make Jesus first in my life. Uh, she came to me uh, in my living room mm-hmm. where I actually saw uh, an image of her and praying and interceding for me. And, um, you know, I have a big picture of, of what that looks like. Mm-hmm. And she actually, you know, uh, in terms of the radio show, yes. she said, you know, I am the lady of Guadalupe, the mother of Guadalupe. And, uh, I am the one behind your radio show. Wow. So she is totally behind everything that we do. I also learned, uh, and I think it may have been an angel many years ago when someone came up to me and said, wherever there is healing, because we have an extensive healing ministry, mm-hmm. wherever there is healing, the Blessed Mother is there. Yes, of And course. so I, you know, I'll be candid. You yeah. know, we go to the Holy Land. We get all these rosaries. I have probably given out 10,000 rosaries. Well, I good give for them you. Out, you know, because people need to understand that they have a spiritual mother and they need to understand that the rosary is really not optional as it relates to holiness. And right. for me, anyway, right. it's not optional in the sense of the Blessed Mother leads you into a closer relationship with Jesus. And, and so... Being part of Virgin Most Powerful Radio, yeah. I mean, this is so apropos to where we believe, uh, Spirit Filled Hearts Ministry, and where, where I believe we need to be, which is the Blessed Mother is guiding us into holiness and into a closer relationship with Jesus. And Deacon Steve, you also put on conferences when you can, when COVID-19 is over, when the churches are open again. 
isn't that a fair statement? You're putting on Divine Mercy conferences. Uh, what else are you doing? 26 conferences for Divine Mercy. Wow. And we've had to postpone some of them. We've yeah. held 18. We've done uh, conferences for the Blessed Mother throughout the state of California. Good. And so we, we have many conferences focusing on Marian spirituality uh, and many uh, conferences, of, as you mentioned, Divine Mercy, many yeah. conferences about the power of the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. the empowered by the Spirit. Um, so, you know, uh, we have conferences on forgiveness. Good. That's, you know, forgiveness Huge. of yourself, Huge. forgiveness of, of others, forgiveness of even God. Sometimes people really, you know, they're angry at God because things haven't worked out the way they think they should. But, you know, most people don't understand how deep lack of forgiveness blocks blessings. Yes. And so we give uh, the Miracles Through Forgiveness book that we've written, but we give seminars on on forgiveness. Um, and so it, it really makes a gigantic difference. We we want people just totally on fire, totally in love with the Lord. And in order to do that, you have to give your heart to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Let the Blessed Mother in. And, and forgive and forgive and forgive. Deacon Steve, is it fair to say that your radio shows will also be touching on you know, forgiveness and other topics that you've been speaking on for years? Is that a fair statement, Absolutely. too? Absolutely. It's going to be touching upon teaching you how to forgive, mm-hmm. teaching you how to pray with yeah. power, mm-hmm. you know, teaching some of the most important things that you have to do, which is turn to the sacraments. Yeah. Turn to daily mass. Amen. You know, obviously we're going to be back, God willing, very soon to daily mass. But turn to reconciliation. We spent a lot of time talking about the power of reconciliation. It's so so important, and I'm so glad to hear you bring that up. Yeah. Uh, you can also, if if you're down south where I am in, in Orange County, you can go to uh, St. Michael's Abbey oh, yeah. every single day, seven That's days right. a week, from one fifteen to four fifteen. Right. So if you can't make it up here. You can go down there and and again, I just went two days ago and, you know, I mean, I can't say enough about the power and importance of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. I've heard you preach on that whole for a whole hour. Okay, man, (laughs) man, it's so powerful. It's just so important because we have to understand that, you know, and, and there's been the devil wants us not to go. The devil wants us to say things like, well, you haven't killed anybody, yeah. you know, Give me a you break. haven't stole $50,000, yeah. you haven't committed adultery, you haven't done those things, why should you go? Because we need to be saints. Amen. We need to be totally on fire. Exactly. You know, and the way we're on fire is by getting more of Jesus and close to Jesus through the sacraments, through the mass, through reconciliation, through the Eucharist. And when that happens, everything changes. Well said. And remember, his show is going to be on right after the Terry and Jesse show on Fridays. Once a week, you're going to hear Deacon Steve Greco. And Deacon Steve, you have guests that are like like well, Father Frank Pavone, Bishop David O'Connell, and other priests and, and even other bishops. I think you've had the auxiliary bishop of Orange on, uh, Bishop Fryer. Is that his We've name? We've had Bishop Tim Fryer on. We've yeah. had Bishop Kevin Van on hey. a number of times. So I love to have the bishops on. Yeah. I love to have... Uh, priests on that, you know, are just totally inspiring to yeah, us, exactly. and totally on fire. And I had a guy by an name of Terry Barber on. Uh, it was one of my <laughs> favorite shows. Yeah, it was crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it was fun. Deacon Steve, this show that you're launching, uh, I know that you've been doing this for years, but I just want to give our listeners a, a kudos to say, you know, you want to listen to this show, folks, and I'll tell you why. It's going to build your faith up. I I tell people everywhere I go, you need to ask Jesus Christ for more faith every day. And I've heard Deacon Steve, as a matter of fact, I'll be honest with you, very few people have said that, what I say. There's only, I think, one or two people that I know who say that. You're one of them, Deacon Steve. You've been telling people to have get Jesus Christ into your life, ask him for more faith. I've heard you talk about the Blessed Mother. I've heard you talk about your love for the church. You fit really well here at Virgin Most Powerful Radio. My last thought on why people should be listening to you, obviously you've talked about your love for Christ and his church and your, your love for the Blessed Mother, but I also want that you have something to offer the Joe six packs out there, the guys that are just common Joes don't have PhDs. You speak the language of the common Joe. And I think that that's important today because Deacon Steve, 
Would you agree that there's a lack of, of formation in our church and that we need to really go back to basics and inform people the basic teachings of Jesus Christ and his bride, the church? I, I couldn't agree with you more. And you know the most basic thing of all? Tell me. Is how much we're loved by Christ. Absolutely. Unconditionally. Yep. You know, I sometimes I'll ask people, I'll say, does Jesus love you more if you don't sin? And people will go, oh, yeah, Jesus will love me more if I don't sin. Well, no. Nope. Jesus loves you the same, yep. unconditionally. Now, when we sin, we block blessings. That's different. Right. But we block the blessing. Yeah. But bottom line is this, learning the basics about our faith, the basics about the power of the Holy Spirit, the basics about the sacraments, the basics about Scripture and, and what we believe in is just absolutely critical. And so, you know, some people, you know, <laughs> the reason they like my books is that, you know, I, they're not something that is, uh, you, don't, you, you don't have to have a Ph.D. to read them. <laughs> Our degree. You know? and, 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 I, and, and so many people, you know, you get these books and, and you know, and, and some very noted people and, and they're great people. But I'll read the, the a paragraph and I'll say, now, what that say? Yeah, you what know? does that mean? What does that mean? You know, this is, I write books and, and our shows are basic as yeah. it relates to the truth. And Jesus said to have faith like a little child, right? And and to speak and, and, and as a child and because children believe. And when we have faith, we can move mountains. So we talk a lot about faith. Hebrews eleven six says it's impossible to please God without faith. And he will reward those who believe in him. And how do we get more faith? We ask for it. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. We ask for faith. It's a gift. Now you understand why it's two peas in a pod. Deacon <laughs> Steve, you're a permanent deacon. You have the uh, opportunity to give people uh, blessings that I can't as a lay person. And you don't have to do this, but I would like to ask you to pray for all of the listeners here at Virgin Most Powerful Radio and that they will be open to the Spirit, and give them your permanent deacon, your de- deacon's blessing, if you could, please. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we love you, we praise you, we worship you, and glorify you. We ask anointings upon all of our listening audience on Virgin Most Powerful mm. Radio. We ask anointing upon the network, upon my new show, mm. anointing upon all the people who are suffering that they receive the grace to know that they are loved unconditionally, that they are healed spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically, that they are filled with every blessing that you have in store for them. The Lord is healing people right now, emotionally and physically. The Lord is saying, I love you unconditionally. Open your heart to receive my love. And I bless you through the intercession of, of Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Blessed Mother, through the power of the Holy Spirit, I bless you with every spiritual blessing in the heavens. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Thank you so much, Terry. Deacon Steve, that in itself is a reason to come on board to Virgin Most Powerful to listen to Deacon Steve Greco's show. He's a permanent deacon. He's going to give you blessings there. And also not just his physical blessing that a permanent deacon can give, He's going to bless you with on-fire Catholic guests that are going to come on and help you fall deeper in love with Jesus Christ and his bride, the church. Nick and Steve, this is the end of our show. We, we end our show with asking you a question. What state should you be living in, Deacon Steve? The state of grace. He knew it. He knew it. <laughs> and what state shouldn't you be living in, brother? A state of sin. That's right. <laughs> That's how we end it. And remember the five stones. Read your Bible. Five stones of David. You read your Bible. Pray your rosary. Get the confession. Have visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Read your Bible. And remember what Our Lady said at Fatima. Souls are going to hell because there's no one there to pray and make sacrifices. Mom, Dad, the kids, we all can participate in helping people come to Jesus Christ through our actions, through our prayers. May God richly bless all of our listeners. And I hope and pray that you will listen to Deacon Steve's new show here on Virgin Most Powerful because I think it's going to bless you in many, many ways. Have a great weekend and God love you and your family. And thanks for blessing us here at Virgin Most Powerful Radio. St. Faustina's Prayer for Priests. O my Jesus, I beg thee on behalf of the whole church 
grant it love and the light of thy spirit and give power to the words of priests so that hardened hearts might be brought to repentance and return to thee O Lord Lord give us holy priests thou thyself maintain them in holiness O divine and great high priest may the power of thy mercy accompany them everywhere and protect them from the devil's traps and snares which are continually being set for the souls of priests may the power of thy mercy O Lord shatter and bring to naught all that might tarnish the sanctity of priests for thou canst do all things amen <laughs>